2021, we witnessed to his sadness as a full generation of Ugandans dropped out of school. This is going to go down in the history of this country. We are yet to establish how much we lost politically, economically, and socially because of this lockdown. The lockdown that took away the churches, places of worship. The lockdown that closed important offices and businesses. The lockdown that kept so many families apart. The lockdown that made the ordinary Ugandans in the business consume their capital. I want to thank God, Lord, for the lives of us who have so far survived the COVID. Many families lost their loved ones. And when it comes to COVID, all of us are victims, either as infected or as affected victims. The children who lost parents, the women who lost husbands, the men who lost their wives. And by the way, COVID in most cases, to our best. The fact that people have been charged exorbitantly to be treated of COVID is an eye-opener of the heresy system we are running as a country. A system that has no answers for everybody. A system that does not work for the majority of the citizens of Uganda. We thank God, who even with a skeleton type of health services, many people got toward of COVID. Our religious leaders, I want to thank you that you have been around even in the hardest of the times. Your work under the prevailing circumstances is priceless and unmeasurable. And we want to thank you for being there for the people when we needed you most. Ladies and gentlemen and our children, allow me now to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2022. Yours is sincerely, but the K number the Betty MP Mukono Municipality and the chairperson of the Parliamentary Assurance and Implementation Committee. Thank you.